everybody, on today's Furniture Flip, we are turning this $25 dining room cabinet into an entryway organizer. Now this diamond in the rough came from the thrift store, and today's techniques are all going to be about distressing. We're using folk art home decor chalk, we're going to be using the antiquing wax, and the crackle medium, and some of the specialty tools paired up with petroleum jelly to create a really cool old rustic look on this. Perfect for organizing your mail, your coats, your dog leashes, all on and on and on. Stuff. And we're good at distressing, aren't we? Oh yeah. So we have a lot of prep work to do. A lot. There's a lot of a lot of holes yeah. to fill. This you, thing's pretty beat up. You ready to flip it? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Kathy, and that's Steve. And together, we like to flip furniture. First step is prepping your furniture. I'm using Seaside Villa and the wide brush to paint the center of the organizer. You don't need primer with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. Next, we will be using Savannah and a chalk brush to paint the top and the base of the cabinet. Folk Art Home Decor Crackle will create a really fine distressed look. Apply it with a foam brush in random areas by brushing or tapping. Now that our crackle medium is dried, I'm ready to prep for our heavy distressing. I'm going to be using petroleum jelly to get that effect in those areas. Use an old or disposable brush to apply sheepskin over the petroleum jelly. Top coat the remaining areas using the wide brush and sheepskin. Use the scrapers over the petroleum jelly areas for heavy distressing. Now that Steve has finished all the distressing, we're ready for the finishing touches. The first thing we're gonna do is stencil on the base. And this is gonna create a little area that shows where you could sit down and maybe put on your shoes. We're also going to completely seal this with our antique wax. And we've got lots of hooks and mail organizers that we're going to attach to this, making it the perfect entryway organizer. I'm using the same Savannah Brown. And one trick is you're gonna to wanna to use a very dry brush. I'm using the wax brush to apply the antique wax. And I'm using a soft cloth to buff the wax. Wall-mounted organizers like this can be found at a variety of stores. I love this one because it's got the two bins, one for my stuff and mail, and one for the girls' stuff. My favorite thing about this coat rack is it came with the mirror, perfect for an entryway. Our feather hooks on the side are perfect for keys, umbrellas, dog leashes, whatever you'd like. 
I've got some baskets down here that I'm gonna put the girls' shoes in so they can be responsible for their shoes. Of course, you can put anything in these. These are great for organizing any of your entryway stuff. We hope you've enjoyed learning about distressing techniques and how to make an entryway organizer. This project took us one day to make, and I think it took us a little bit longer to shop for this. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of thrift shopping to find the right size piece yeah. and to find all the bits that we wanted. Yeah. It but took look, time. It looks great. I love it. I love how it turned out. If you want to see more Furniture Flip, please subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'd be happy to get back to you. We will. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys.